guys I hope you guys can see me it looks like you can see me I'm sitting pretty far back from the camera okay I think you can see me hello obviously I'm feeling a lot better because I have my lights set up and you guys know if I have my lights set up then I must be feeling better because last week when I did my baby announcement I was like I'm gonna set up the lights it's gonna be so nice I'm gonna have a pink and blue background but it just did not go like that you know what let me take this coat off because it is a little hot okay I'm gonna sit like this so um just to give you guys a little mini update before I go into what this video is about today we went to look at a house the house was really perfect it had everything that I wanted it to have it had everything Hera wanted it to have and um it was just it's, it's a perfect house It's near his mom it's near his grandmother it's near our family out here and it will be perfect for us and while we were looking at the house move King while we were looking at the house everybody's like you're not excited you're not excited why and I'm to the point like until I pray on something and until like God has given me like the yes to go ahead I try not to get excited about things because I don't want to get so excited and like start calling it my house and da 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 and then God is like no no so you guys be in prayer with us on that because um it's not a requirement for me to have a house before um baby nunnery gets here it's not a requirement it will be nice but i it's not a requirement i will want it but i know it's all gonna work out anyway but if it worked out that way it would be really awesome and it would be um a lot easier even though our apartment is pretty big it would just be nice to already have the home that we're gonna raise our baby in and whatever so you guys pray with us on that and as far as how I'm feeling, I'm feeling so much better, y'all. Like, last week felt, like, horrible. Like, I told y'all in the last video, I hadn't been vomiting, but I felt like I had just got off a roller coaster, and I felt like that every day, all day. From the moment I went to sleep to the moment I woke up, and, you know, doctors advise that you sleep on your left side because it takes the pressure off your kidney and some type of other vein, and the it's easier, um... The blood and the circulation gets to the baby baby easier. I don't know. Um, Harold was explaining it to me. And so I've been sleeping on my left side and I sleep on my stomach. I don't sleep on my left or my right side. I sleep on my stomach, period. So it's been hard for me to sleep. But a few days ago, I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I just have some meat, I'll feel better because I don't eat meat. I only eat... um fish tilapia salmon and seafood i think that's called a, a pescatarian i'm unsure i didn't go pescatarian it was just what i decided to do and then i found out there was a name for it so i'm like okay maybe if i eat meat let's just see if i'm missing meat in my diet and maybe that's why i'm feeling bad so i had some um 99 fat free ground turkey and i made it into like a taco and it i felt so much better like soon as i ate it like i felt better i'm like okay I guess I have to add some meat here and there to my diet while pregnant and then afterwards I'll just go back to what I was doing but you know whatever is gonna keep the baby healthy and keep me feeling good I'm gonna have to do it so that's the pregnancy update and the life update and yeah but I wanted to make this video because on my way home and for the last couple of days it's just really been pressing on my heart to um not really a rant video but to make a talk video with you guys because I feel like as young Christians, a lot of the time we focus on so many temporary things. And I get um, so many emails and I get it. Like, I get it. We all want answers and we want to know why this is happening or when this is going to happen for me and da da da. And you know, I get so many emails about, you know, I want to be married. When, it, when is he going to propose? Should I stay with him? Should I break up with him? Or can I do this and still be Christian? Or can I do that and still be Christian? And it really came to me the last few days. And I'm like, man, like we really focus on everything. But completely 100% giving our lives to God. We get to a point where we feel like, wait, I think I got to sit back. Okay. We get to a point where... We look at everybody around us and we're like, man, 
that's happening for this and that person my friends are getting married my friends are having kids i want that to happen for me and we just get to a place where we get discontent with our lives and we're not appreciating the things that we do have and we're looking at the temporary things down here on earth like houses cars money we look at these temporary things and we literally chase these things and there's so many pastors and there's so many preachers and there's so many bishops and deacons and apostles and all of that that tells us oh go after your dream go after the money god wants you to be successful he wants you to be fruitful he wants you to be rich he wants you to drive all these cars and, I, and i'm just to the point where my heart is really so broken over that because we're chasing so many temporary things down here on the earth that we never want to stop and say okay god what do you want me to do what will you have me to do show me what you envision for me and i got to the point where i really started praying and i asked god make me the woman that you created me to be not the woman that i want to be not the successful business owner not the perfect wife not the perfect mother make me into who you want me to be because through that i'll be everything i need to be to my husband i'll be everything i need to be to my kids my friends my family i'll already be that person through you instead of me creating this woman like and not to slam i'm not slamming um jada pink and smith but Pink it, pink it, I don't know. But my sister and somebody else sent me that video. And as I watched that video, I didn't even watch the whole thing. So I might not have gotten a whole idea of what she was talking about. But she was basically saying, you know, women get to the point where they put themselves last. And But I, I, don't, I don't watch stuff like that. Because honestly, I am so guarded against um, self-help. I'm so guarded against self-motivation i feel like everything i need is in the bible everything i need to learn is from god i don't need anybody here down here on this earth that's not speaking biblically to speak on my life and to motivate me to do something that god does not have for me to do so i feel like we get so caught up in watching these people lives on instagram and they listening to these preachers who not even reading their own Bible, listening to these relationship motivators. Like, everybody is a relationship counselor nowadays. Is it just me or what? Because when I log on to Instagram, everybody is a relationship counselor. And honestly, that's where the money's at right now. And that's why everybody is going that way. You speak a little bit of motivation to a woman, a black woman, and you tell her, oh, you know, he needs to be respecting you, da-da-da. Now, all these things are true, but these people speak some relationship advice, throw a little bit of, of biblical hearsay in there, everybody on it, everybody buying their books. And I'm sitting back, and I'm looking at all this stuff, and I'm like, I really want people to really wake up. Because back in the day what two years ago that used to be me like i used to be so into running after money so into running after the car so into running after a man and then i just got to a point this year where i'm like man i really just want what god has for me regardless of what happens i just want what he has for me period and i really want us all to get to that point let's stop getting let's stop being to the point of how much can I do and still be Christian? How far can I go and still be Christian? How much self-ambition can I have? How much fornication can I do? How much weed can I do? How much drinking can I do and still be Christian? How about let's get to a point where we lay it all out in front of God and say, you tell me what to pick up. You tell me what to do. You tell me what's best for my, for my life. We will save ourselves so much time and so much discontentment and so much money running to all of these conferences if we really just seek God. But we've gotten to a point where we don't want to seek God. We want a quick answer from a human who may not even be seeking God for themselves like half these people online claiming to be this claiming to be that claiming to be a prophet claim don't even read their own Bible half these people starting their own organizations half these people starting their own groups half these people starting their own Christian businesses writing Christian books don't even read the Bible and that's what like I'm not gonna say angers me but that's it irritates me so much to see people falling falling for it and i'm like if you really look at these people really look at what they're talking about you can tell they're not reading the bible and if they are i don't know what what, what bible they reading like if they are and i'm like bro if we all just got to a point and i'm not some people might not know how to seek god and that's fine it's all about learning and praying like god i really don't know how to seek you if that was me like i got to a point where i was like i don't even know if i'm praying right i don't even know if i'm reading my bible right i don't even know if i'm studying right and i just had to pray and i'm like really lead me guide me like my heart is really pure and wanting to know you more and i found myself being led towards different i changed churches i found myself you know really 
finding Bible studies and finding people who are really speaking the word and getting poured into from that. And from that, I grew as a Christian. But so many times we want the quick, easy answer. We want the quick, easy answer for our discontentment. Hmm, I feel discontent. Maybe I need a man. Maybe I need a job. Maybe I need a car. Maybe I need a house. And I'm like, no, you really just need God. And and people used to laugh at me when I said that. When I first got serious about my walk with God and I would say, listen, God is the only thing I need and every everybody else, everything else is additional blessings. And that used to offend people. Like people used to get offended. How could you say that? Like literally, God is literally the only person you need. Everything else he allows you to have is additional. It's a blessing. Like this life goes by so fast. Like I feel like that. I feel like my days feel like seconds. I feel like my life is going like this. And I know I'm young and people probably are like, well, how do you feel? Like that's how this life goes. It goes by so fast. Do you really want to stay? in front of God and he's like what did you do with this time that I gave you you didn't seek me you didn't ask me what I wanted for your life you created your own business plan you created your own life and slapped my name on it every time something good happened to you you was quick to post on social media oh the Lord is blessing me and you not once sought me for this thing you never not once asked me what I thought about it you went off on your own accord and you slapped my name on it to make it look good to make it look good for your Christian friends to make everybody feel like you're so blessed and I had nothing to do with it and I'm like man and I really got convicted over it when I was walking through that house and I'm like I don't even need to be like attached to this I'm not gonna speak oh this is my house I'm speaking it in Jesus name and I never not once asked Jesus no no yes I have I have faith I have the faith that can move mountains but I'm not gonna slap Jesus name on something I didn't even consult him about like I'm not gonna do it and it might be weird to some people and People probably felt like, oh, you're not excited. You don't like the house. And I'm like, no, it's not that. Like, I'm not. I need to go consult my father. And I need my father to say yay or nay. Because I'm not going to be, oh, I'm decreeing and I'm declaring that this blessing is going to rain down from heaven. Oh, Holy Spirit. No, I'm not going to do that. No, and I really want us all to get to the point in our lives where we're like, I don't care about nothing else. What does the Bible say about that? Yeah, you can get on Facebook, you can get on Instagram, and these preachers can have all the memes in the world telling you the best things, the best rhymes, the best word, the best saying that make you feel good about yourself. But is that in the Bible? Is it? Because I guarantee you it's not. That's why it's so important. And I tell my family, I tell my friends this, it's so important to read it for yourself because a lot of the times all this stuff you like it and reposting is not biblical it's not it's not biblical it's not it's not in there i had this conversation with my sister about a month ago and i straight up told her i'm like this repost ain't biblical like this dude he's not biblical no, nothing in this post is not biblical she's like oh you're being too serious you're taking it too far no if you're gonna be speaking on god and you're gonna be speaking on jesus i need to know where it's at in the bible and if it's not in there then no i don't care how good it sounds we need to get to a point where we stop looking at other people's lives, stop looking at this fake stuff on social media, and we're like, God, I want that, I want that. And God is like, you don't, even, you don't even know what life I have for you. I have such a beautiful life waiting for you. If you would just come seek me and ask me who I created you to be instead of try, stop trying to be the next this, stop trying to be the next that. I already had a vision when I created you, and you're all the way to the left. And I'm like, come back, sit at my feet, and ask me what do I want you to be, what do I want you to do with your life. Stop being who your mama telling you to be. Stop being who social media telling you. Just come to just come to me, and that's all I really want. And this is the thing. I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you this is gonna be a cliche YouTube channel because it I can't. I'm not gonna sit up here and try to be a relationship guru for you. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie and say I have all the answers because the only answers that I have are in the Bible. You don't have to worry about me being fake. You don't have to worry about me getting on here trying to portray a picture to get more followers. People are using Christianity to market their business. And that's what I need you guys to see. Like, this video is all over the place, but I'm just telling y'all the, tr the truth. People are using Christianity. People see that Christianity is starting to be a big thing amongst amongst young people. So they're start. oh, okay, maybe if I do this, maybe if I add a little bit of this to my business, I'll get that Christian crowd. I'll get that Christian crowd and they'll come spend money because you know they'll support this like please like open your eyes and see like at the end of the day if this is what God wants me to do he's gonna take care of all of that regardless so yeah
that's about it and i'm so hungry so i have to go because i have to make another video after this one and i also have in a closet sale right now so if you guys want to head over to chelsemaria.com definitely go there i've added a a ton of stuff i need to add more stuff i've added a ton of stuff and people have already started shopping even though i haven't announced it i've added a ton of stuff i've added shoes i've added um trench coats i believe i've added some skirts so definitely head over there and check it out and i will see you guys on my next video which should be a bible study because that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna be finishing all of that out tonight so i will see you guys later Bye.